It took months of work from both sides of the aisle, but the multi-billion dollar budget has passed the Ohio Senate and House of Representatives did so tonight. Just hours ahead of the midnight deadline for a deal, the House voted to pass the $191 billion budget, sending it straight to the governor's desk. NBC 4's Kyle Beachy joins us now with a breakdown of how the budget will affect Ohioans. Kyle. Kerry, the State House didn't vote just to pass that budget tonight. They also gave the governor a seven day extension to read over this 7,000 page document. State senators voted along party lines, while several Democrats in the House voted to pass the nearly $200 billion budget that extends over the next two years. There was something in there for everybody probably, and there's something in there that not all of us like, and the question is, does it balance? Speaker of the House Jason Stevens looks at this budget as a win for Republicans. With the House passing this budget, we have incorporated 11 out of 12 of those priorities. But Democratic Senate Minority Leader Nikki Antonio sees it differently. This budget benefits the wealthy and the well-connected, but it leaves out low-income folks, people who are struggling, and frankly, middle-class folks as well. The budget is cutting about $3 billion in taxes, moving from four income tax brackets to two. Anyone making between twenty-six and 100000 a year will pay 2.75%, while anyone earning over 100000 will pay 3.5%. It's about uh, allowing our Ohioans to keep money in their pocket while also maintaining a social safety net for people in need in their most vulnerable population. I think we landed in a good spot. K-12 through education in another area seeing some changes. Public schools are fully funded. Plus, all Ohio students now have the option for school choice. Any public school student can apply for a voucher to go to any public or private school partly or fully on the taxpayer's dime. It provides uh, public education, but also gives parents the choice uh, to decide where and how their child is going to be educated. That the funding is there for public schools, that it stayed at that level that uh, Democrats really wanted to see. <laughs> we're very troubled by this expansion of vouchers. And the fact that we were able to get claw back the $550 million that the Senate took out of our public schools, um, I think is a big win for, for uh, Republicans, Democrats, for the people of Ohio all across the state. There are also a few pieces of legislation in the budget, an overhaul of the Department of Education giving the State House more power, and a social media law requiring parental consent for kids under 16. A statewide ban on flavored vaping products was not included. Governor DeWine now has the opportunity to line veto, but our NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami tells me the governor is likely to sign this budget sometime next week. Carrie. To be continued. Thank you so much, sir.